congratulations to all of the team associated with this horse. And of course, Eric, who's saying this horse can be a little bit quirky. He's quite culty, but he's only four. So you never know, there could be, there should be plenty of improvement to come from him. And we've got the UAE ambassador of Japan and Cyprus very kindly doing the honors for us after the running of this race, along with Mirza al -Sayag once again. And a great ride, as you saw there by Jean-Baptiste Mal. Please show your appreciation for the winning rider. As we said beforehand, this horse had had a run over in France around three weeks ago, over 2,000 metres. Finished midfield on that occasion, but that's clearly put him absolutely spot on um, for this assignment. And of course, if he wins at Newbury on July the 30th, he'll pick up a cash bonus. Very generously donated by Shadwell. It's part of the Dubai International Arabian Race Day at the Berkshire track in the UK. Start over 12 minuten. So this is what you were doing, right? This is what we yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, now you know. <laughs> 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 Well, as we said, this was the Shabwell Arabian Stallions Stakes. And if you've had a look at your race card, you will have hopefully learned a lot more about the, the, uh, the Shabwell Stallions uh, that are featured in it. There are six of them. Uh, Nori Scarmori, Madjani and, and Kawalina would be three of the very best. And they were, of course, trained by Gillian Duffield, who retired, uh, what, two years ago, but she still, I think, she, she likes to keep her finger in. Richard Lancaster is the director of Stallions at Shabwell Stud here enjoying the afternoon today. I don't think we could have asked for any better weather, could we, Richard? Absolutely fantastic, not a, oh well, hardly a cloud in the sky and a lovely temperature and, and a very good crowd. So it's, uh, it's been a great afternoon. And the, the, the whole Dubai day itself is, is becoming so popular and very prestigious in its own right. But this is the third year that we've had this meeting here. Uh, how, how pleased are you with the races that we've seen so far? No, I, definitely. I was here two years ago. I wasn't here last year, but once seen a definite step up in, uh, in class and greater depth. And it's great to see runners from sort of other parts of Europe too, um, which is what the whole Dubai International Arabian Race Day is all about. And it's all about actually having these, uh, these races in anticipation of what's going to happen on the 30th of July at, uh, at Newbury. And of course, we should just reiterate once again for all of the winners here today, if they managed to double up at Newbury, they, they, they kept a nice cash bonus as well, which, which isn't to be sniffed at, is it? No, it isn't, and it's that's um, it, it's all part and parcel of the policy of encouraging uh, uh, people to bring their runners to Newbury, so that it is a really international event, and you know, it, uh, and to uh, ensure that uh, that uh, Dubai International Arabian Race Day at Newbury retains that uh, that reputation it has as being the biggest all Arab race day in the world at the moment. And Arabian racing is very, very close to his son, Sheikh Hamdan bin Rashid Al Maktoum's heart, isn't it? It's a, it's a sport that he, he absolutely loves. It is. Sheikh Hamdan has put an awful lot of uh, money and an awful lot of passion into uh, the, the Arabian racing, initially in the UK, but now throughout the world. And uh, he um, is very keen that people should appreciate the Arabian horse. Obviously, it's all part of the culture of uh, the Middle East, and the horse is a very important part of the uh, life of the uh, of Middle Eastern people. And uh, Sheikh Hamdam is very keen that people should understand. We should also all remember that if it wasn't for those three Arabian stallions, we wouldn't have the thoroughbred, which is another thing that, uh, that, that sometimes people forget. Let's just talk very briefly just about a few of the stallions that, that you've got on, on, the ra on the roster at the moment. Obviously, uh, Nori Scarmori um, would be one of your newest stallions, and, and I'm sure you're delighted with, with the start he's made to his stallion career. He's made a great start. Um, the trainers are, are all very excited about what they've seen. Um, he's got four-year-olds now, and uh, we are, uh, we've been overrun this year with uh, applications for people wanting to use the horse. And 
I think he's a very exciting horse. He um, combined uh, speed with uh, the ability to stay 10 furlongs, and he comes from one of the best sort of French lines. And, uh, you know, he can compete with any stallion around the world at the moment. And I suppose your, your best stallion, or the, perhaps, perhaps the most popular, would, would be uh, Hamid Kayla Classic. Did, did Majali win? Was, was, it, was it four or five? But anyway, he was a very, very good racehorse, and his offspring have done equally well on the track as well, haven't they? Yeah, in fact, it, it, it was three. But they were, I mean, it was at a time that, that there were an awful lot of very high class horses about. And he, um, uh, he dominated the UAE um, Arabian racing for, for three solid seasons. He raced until he was nine and, uh, and, and, and retired sound. He was a very, very tough horse, had a great attitude and a lovely horse to have around. And how was Sheikh Hamdan's horses or Arabians running in the UK this year? He's, I know he's been a bang among the winners. He's the leading owner. He's, he's got some nice horses to, to run at Newbury at the end of the month. Yeah, Phil Collington and James Owen have got uh, a, a nice uh, bunch of horses. Um, in fact, um, you know, the, the, they've been sort of preparing because that is the big day to, to make sure that we've got lots of runners at Newbury. Um, and, uh, and, and there'll be a few coming from France too. Francois France, well, Rojo's um, horses have been running extremely well. Um, I was in uh, France at La Teste on Tuesday where we had a couple of, uh, of, of good performances, a winner of a group two and a three-year-old that uh, finished second in a very hot maiden. Um, so, uh, yeah, no, we've got a, a, hopefully an exciting day ahead. That's my job to make sure that we've got plenty of runners and a few winners on, uh, on Dubai Day at uh, Newbury.